Hello and welcome to a very belated Father's Day edition of Mark Fix's Stuff. Uh, in the UK it was recently Father's Day and my children gave me a couple of lovely cards. Now the first one is um, from my youngest daughter who's five. It says, so glad we're tied together. It's got a little tie. Tied. Get that? Call her. And uh, little buttons and... Oh, I've drawn a little thing in there. Lovely. It's from Abigail. And uh, it says, two... Daddy Fat, <coughs> Daddy Fat, oh nice, from Abigail, and there's little flying saucers down the bottom, and that's her as an alien, so happy Father's Day, thank you Abigail. And this is from my eight year old, it's uh, a Mark Fixes Stuff shirt, which I thought was awesome. Again I've got a tie on, which is strange because I never wear a tie, ever, um, but I guess this is the... Uh, the idea that children have that what, what dads wear, more like that, yeah. So, um, dear daddy, happy Father's Day. I love you lots and hope you like this card. I hope you have a great G-R-A-T-E <laughs> Father's Day. Lots and lots and lots of love from Ella. Kiss, kiss. Lots of hearts as well, so thank you Ella. And uh, the bit you'll probably be interested in is underneath, they bought me this lovely gift, which is uh, a new budget range, but better than the one that I tend to use in my videos, a uh, multimeter. It's a 10 mar digital multimeter, and uh, delivered, they cost around 24 pounds. Uh, 10 mar is one of those brands which are uh, sold by Farnell CPC, etc. in the UK and France. And you can probably get in the States as well, because um, it says here 10 mar.com, uh, Springboro, Ohio. So uh, yeah, so this, this might be useful. And um, genuinely, first time I'm opening this, so I'm using my new Rostrum camera. <coughs> Haven't quite got um, the LED light solution sorted out quite yet, but it is a lot cooler for what we're lacking in maybe clarity, but I'll, I'll work through that if you bear with me, guys. So, um, a Manuel, lovely. Um, not sure what... Uh, features this one has actually. <clears throat> Let's see. So I've got a bit of a cold. So, so what does it come with? Operating manual, test leads, multi-purpose socket, point contact temperature probe. Oh, it's got a temperature probe. Um, oh, it might be useful for showing um, overheating chips in videos. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's have a look at the goods. What do we have here? Um, some probes. Have a little feel. Yeah, really, actually it's really nice, flexible quality, much better than your sort of three to five pound multimeters that I have a tendency to use. The reason I use cheap multimeters is um, that they're really you know, easy to get hold of and I lose them quite a lot. So I'm not gonna lose this one, I promise girls, absolutely promise. Um, probes, nice. I actually feel really good. Okay, so take the probes out. Try not to cough on camera at the moment. I even got little plugs in the end to keep the dirt out. So, uh, nice. They are just standard probes though, end of the day. <clears throat> um, a Golight battery. Which, uh, oh, it's glowing like something godlike. Mm, look at that. Um, so I'll have to fit that. Uh, a temperature probe, which might need to go into a block adapter. Yeah, block adapter. So that goes into there, which would then go into... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Not sure which one it goes into, actually. Um, but that'll be in the manual as well. Something like that, anyway. Right, so this isn't going to uh, fire out. I quite like the colour, sort of a... Salmony orange, really. Um, a butternut squash colour. Um, doesn't seem to have a backlight, which is a good thing because it doesn't kill the battery so quick. How do I get the battery into this? Uh, no battery compartment, as usual. 
multimeters all screwed together. I think there's some regulation, let's pull this off, that says that uh, multimeters have to be screwed together. So. <coughs> Find rusty screwdriver. Rusty screwdriver. And I'm approaching this gingerly because I managed to stab myself in the finger yesterday with a shard of glass whilst I was repairing some disco equipment and um, yeah I think it's infected just had it in a bowl of saline for 20 minutes but you know you live and you learn or in my case you live and you don't actually learn and um, there we go so these lights above are actually operating off of um, six AA batteries which seem to get munched fairly quick I'm, I'm not sure I like the whole effect of the lights, to be honest. I think it's a bit too direct and specular. So I um, might look for another solution. But I do like the Rostrum camera. It's working quite well. Um, so I can get a good deal of um, stuff dealt with there. So uh, we'll put that down there. I'll just show you the uh, macro feature that I've built into my new Rostrum that I've built. If I can find my remote control, I shall. Here we go. Check this out. So this is... Um, Zooming in, we're showing you all the good components, but after a while, obviously, it goes a bit out of focus. But then, <coughs> I'll be able to stick it into the macro mode, he says. Hang on. I'll try that again. Or not, as the case may be, because that would mean mucking around with the camera, and I don't want to do that to anyone, because it's all shaky. Oh, anyway, it goes really, really close up when I can work it out. Let's go. Menu? No. I'll be using the remote control here. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, I know why. It's because I'm in manual... Um, Manual mode, okay. Anyway, I'll come back to that. Basically, for the close-ups, I, I can get really close into the chips. So, anyhow, let's uh, go back out there. Do, 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 just not set up for this because that's not what I was about to do. I've got to be wary of these shadows as well. They're not terribly pleasing on the videos. Okay, so, 9 volt battery. We will test this one. I, I, I have a tendency to usually use a Duracell in these, not use the included ones, but I don't have one to hand. So I'm assuming that I'm going to pop the um, <clears throat> the battery in here, the plus and negative terminals in the correct position, like that. That's not about to fall out. And then it must just go over there. So let's give it a go. Okay. No, try to knock. Uh, that was an epic, epic fail. Sore finger, I'm blaming the finger. Got piezo buzzer for the continuity check there at the back. Uh, let's try popping the bottom posts in first. And then top. Yeah, that's much better. So, put the bottom in first, really. Uh, let's turn it on before. Hey, hey. <coughs> we'll turn it off now, put the screws in, put the protective non-slip case, the body condom back on. So how is everyone, you good? This is the joy of kids you see, they buy you gifts that you have to leave hints around that you want. For my um, Last birthday in October, I got an ESR meter, which was pretty cool, and has helped me no end. For those of you that don't know, an ESR meter is um, for measuring the equivalent series resistance of a capacitor, and measuring the equivalent series capacitance, uh, sorry, the equivalent series resistance of a capacitor is the best way to check whether it's working or not, because um, when caps dry out or leak, they go resistive. So you can see 
how many ohms of resistance a capacitor has as opposed to how many it should have. That's why you see things like low ESR capacitors for building um, accurate circuits. So, good. This is looking really cool, actually. Let's pull this little stand out and stand him up like that. Ah, this is going to make videos a lot easier. So I've got something here, for example. <coughs> and we will plug the test leads in. Here. And it's quite a chunky, chunky beggar. Oh dear. New Tesla is all square, squared up with. Right, so it's 7 degrees Celsius already. So um, I don't want to bore you too much, so we'll just go into the diode check, continuity check, I think. And uh, it's here. Nice. Oh, that's really good. I bet that's picking up really well as well. Um, diode check, really useful. Continuity check's really useful. That's my hand shaking, by the way. <laughs> it's making that awful noise. Um, it's still continuity check on rusty screwdriver. Yep, see, too much rust. If I scrape along. Oh, Rusty, you're so dirty. Now, let's do a continuity check on random safety pin. I wonder what this is made of, actually. Some sort of alloy that's non-conductive. Oh, no. No, that is a conductive. You could use that as a murder weapon to electrocute someone. Cool. Okay, well, we know that works. Um, there's a Hertz measurement. Um, yeah, basically, ohms, volts, all, all the usual stuff. Uh, what else can we check out here? milliamps capacitance very good and hold I love the way that it goes connect test leads so I think I need to read the manual on this actually because it's telling me to connect the test leads when uh, I already have let's try powering it off and on again connect test leads what does that mean let's check that out Oh, I'm boring you, aren't I? I'll check that out later. Um, let's actually see the temperature function because that'd be quite temperature measurement number twenty-two. Let's see. <clears throat> see what we got here. We have got. Where is it? Oh, it's 21. Don't. <coughs> measurement operation. Temperature measurement. See figure A. Okay, so that needs to go in the middle. There. I think. Yeah, with these two jobbies. Okay. So. Insert the multi-purpose socket into the Hertz volts ohms diode um, and capacitance and milliamps terminal. Does it matter which way round it is? I imagine with the print the right way up would be quite helpful. So uh, let's try that. Haha, <laughs> you're right now about saying connect test leads. Put in there. Um, and. Oh, I've got to page bloody 14 now. Tell them all, can't you? Right. Bomb, bomb, bomb. You measure transistors in this as well. One hundred four to Okay, around 40 degrees. Maybe I'll take my temperature with it. Mind you, if it's 40 degrees, I've got problems. Um, <clears throat> set the rotary switch to Fahrenheit. Or degrees Celsius. So... Okay, then what I'm doing here, take this lead out of the packet and unwrap it, what else have we got there, nothing else, uh, plus and K, that's plus K, K. 
Caramel, Amel, what the hell? So that's the plus. So the plus must go in there. Okay, so uh, 23 degrees, and it is a warm day today. It says connect test leads all the time. What happens if I do that? Pretty cool. 30 degrees. Let's stick it in my ear. I'm genuinely sticking it in my ear now. 32 degrees in my ear. Um, I know, I'll stick it in my mouth. Here we go. No, that's not a good idea. I don't want to do that. Uh, so, yeah. That's the um, tip thing. What else can I test? Well, I've got... Um, let's te test the temperature of my skin around my wound. 32, you know, as you'd expect. Inside the wound. 33! Oh my god, I'm dying. Right, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, I have got an Amstrad with a stuck RAM chip, which I can uh, check out with that. That's a, a pretty cool thing. So, all in all, I mean, lots of features. I'm not going to bore you, because it's a meter, but... Um, it's cool for me and better than the three pound thing I was using. Um, although not knocking the three pound thing, really accurate, works really well. This probably suffers from backlash a little bit less. Nice big screen. Turn it back on so you can see it. Look, nice big screen. It's got hold. I do like that it tells you what ones you're meant to be connecting because I, I get that question quite a lot. I want to measure um, sort of like. Um, DC voltage and um, AC voltage, what do I need to be connected to? So if you go to the settings, you see it actually shows you what holes the pegs need to be in. Really good. Yeah, I'm really pleased. So thank you to my beautiful daughters. These will go back in the bag. Might give it a wipe since it's uh, yeah, been in my ear and in my wound. <laughs> and um, I'm going to um, leave it at that because I want to make another video now of um, an actual repair. So, uh, yeah, this is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff signing out saying subscribe to get your fix. Thank you for watching me open my gift. I'll see you later. Bye bye.